Hi, I'm Kelly Gallup, and welcome to my TED Talk. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman, and today we're going to talk about the streamer ratio. But first, let's talk about streamer fishing in general. Streamer fishing is a lot of fun. It can be fast paced and exciting. It's often visual. You can watch the fish chase down your fly and try to kill it. Streamer fishing can be a great way to catch bigger fish. And I know a lot of you like to fish streamers just because it's easier than getting a drag free drift. There's not a lot of mending. Just chuck it out there, get a tight line and feel for the bite. You can literally do it blindfolded. Streamer fishing is fun. There's no doubt about that, but you should not expect to catch all of the fish that eat your fly. This is the ratio that I'm talking about. Write this down. For every 10 fish that eat your fly, you're going to hook three and you're going to land one. That's just the nature of the game. These numbers are not a hard and fast rule. There was no scientific process that I used to come up with this ratio. It's just something that I've noticed after decades of drinking beer on rivers and watching people fish. Speaking of, let me repeat it for you. For every 10 fish that eat your fly, you're gonna hook three and you're gonna land one of those fish. Okay, but why? Well, lots of reasons. You're not gonna hook them because the fish just straight up misses the fly. In moving water with a moving fly and a moving fish, there's a lot going on and it's happening quickly and sometimes they just whiff. But let's say you do hook up. Why are you gonna only land one out of three? The weight of the fly is one reason. Modern streamers tend to have some weight to them. When a fish is hooked, it shakes its head trying to dislodge that fly from its mouth. A fly with weight is easier for them to throw. Or maybe you just didn't get a good hook set in the first place and the fish comes off. Again, it's all happening very fast and sometimes you'll hook them not so good for just a second and then the hook falls out. It happens. I heard someone say once that you lose fish on streamers simply because the hooks are so big and they wear a big hole in the fish's mouth and that's why the hook falls out. There are tons of reasons that you could lose a streamer fish after it's hooked and typically I think you'll only land one out of 10 that eat your fly. The important thing is that you know ahead of time that this might happen and that it's not your fault, usually. It's just the way streamer fishing is. Well, that's neat and all, but is there anything we can do to increase our chances of success? Absolutely. Let me tell you about treble hooks. I'm just kidding, but I do have some tips for you. If a fish is following your fly or chasing it, keep doing whatever it is that you're doing. I've said this many times because it's important. Don't speed up or slow down or change direction. Just do whatever you were doing that got a positive reaction from that fish in the first place and hope for the bite. Let's say a fish eats, then what? You have to set the hook. With streamers, ideally, I want the fish to hook itself. It eats the fly and turns away and the weight of the water and the tension on the line will hook the fish. You're just stripping in your fly and all of a sudden, boom, you're hooked up to a fish and you didn't even do anything. This is the best case scenario for me. Now, if you're seeing the fish come to the fly, there's no way that you're going to have the self-control to let the fish hook itself. If it eats, you'll have some kind of spasm that's supposed to be a hook set. Try to strip set if you can. You'll be able to stick the fish harder and if the fish misses the fly, it's still in range because you didn't pull it out of the water with a trout set. The only time a trout set is appropriate is at super close range. Like you've stripped in all of your line and the fish is boat side or at your feet and you just don't have anywhere to go. This is when you can trout set because there is no other option. But only do it if you see that fly go into the fish's mouth. Then you have my official permission to trout set on a streamer fish. So that's it. That's my thoughts on the streamer ratio. Get it tattooed inside of your eyelids so you don't forget it. Thanks as always for watching another one of my huge fly fisherman videos i will be back as soon as i can with another video about fly fishing for you until then go ahead and laugh at yourself for trout setting when you shouldn't and stay huge I just want to see how long you'll sit there and watch me do nothing.